This video shows implantation of two people with far advanced otosclerosis using an 8 up eight millimeter fiber endoscope and a KTP laser. The first was 17 years post-stapedectomy. The prosthesis is in good position and covered by uh, mucosa. Here you can see the promontory, which is white with cochlear otosclerosis. This is an endoscopic view with uh, the fiber scope of that decade by Mishita. We can see there is uh, some lumen after the initial drilling of the cochleostomy, but there's still obstruction with otos otosclerotic bone that can be seen. This is drilled away in this case showing that the lumen is now open. Curving off in the upper left is the uh, basilar membrane, the dark streak, and to the right is the medialis and osseous spiral lamina. Straight ahead we have more otosclerotic obstruction deep in scala tympani. After removal of that last bit of uh, otosclerotic bone, we're again seeing the osteospiral lamina and basilar membrane, medialis directly to the right, but the lumen appears to be open. A nucleus 22 electrode is then fully inserted without difficulty, and the patient went on to have an excellent outcome. This next case is another uh, patient with otosclerosis after initial drilling of the cochleostomy. The otosclerotic obstruction continued down the scale at this point for about four millimeters. There we can see the cochleostomy is widened, which was not atypical at that time. Two millimeter cochleostomies uh, were frequently used with ossification cases. Here looking through the endoscope we see a small amount of lumen present to the left but not enough to uh, reliably insert the electrode. Here a KTP laser is introduced and activated. Uh, there is no nuclear explosion. It's just uh, saturation of the CCD chip. Part of the bone was removed, and here we go again. Settings for this were determined uh, on uh, cadaveric specimens using the uh, uh, cortical bone. And here we can see now we've come to a place where the uh, scala can be seen. The large opening is scala tympani there. Again, a nucleus 22 electrode is inserted without difficulty, and this patient also developed good open set responses.